she was a beautiful, rambunctious young lady. She was ambitious, she was a self-starter, she was a great mom, and just a great daughter. Josephine Wenzel is talking about her late daughter, Crystal Mitchell, a single mom of two. She was only 30 years old when she was killed on a trip from Phoenix to San Diego back in 2016 with her new boyfriend. She said that he was a good man, he was in the Marines, um, his family was established in Scottsdale. There was no red flag, you know. But that new boyfriend, Raymond McLeod, had a dark side. A heavy drinker with a history of domestic violence. Knowing my daughter, she would not tolerate that type of behavior. And she didn't know him enough. So if she saw his behavior at the club, let's say she would have escaped that. She would not be in that relationship whatsoever. On June 10th of 2016, the couple came to this Allied Gardens bar. They were kicked out after Raymond reportedly slapped Crystal during an argument and then got into a fight with someone who tried to stop him. Crystal's body was discovered the following morning at this apartment complex off Mission Gorge Road. Police say there was a trail of blood from an elevator to the apartment the couple was staying in. McLeod, the prime suspect in Crystal's murder, was nowhere to be found. Police say the next morning, he called his ex-wife to say he would miss his son's birthday, rented a car at the San Diego airport, and disappeared. That car would be found days later in Mazatlan, Mexico. The search for McLeod soon went silent. That's when Josephine Wenzel, a former police officer, went to work. When I contacted the police and I asked them, is somebody looking for him? They said, well, you know, we we communicate with our, you know, um, allies out there and stuff. But there was no boots on the ground. Nobody handing out flyers is what I thought. Maybe they were looking for him. So what did you do next? I took to social media and I started just pounding the pavement through, you know, virtually. It took years to track McLeod and too many hours spent online to count. I can't because I would wake up at all times of day and night. I'd wake up at three in the morning and I'd start my mission. I'd go to bed at 12, midnight, one o'clock in the morning, I don't know. I just did it when I could. Josephine even took classes on how to use social media and the internet to find a fugitive. She tracked McLeod from Mazatlan to Belize. I started putting out ads for, you know, uh, wanted posters and stuff. And then just everybody started contacting me left and right. But it also scared him out of the country. And then when he found out that I was on to him into Guatemala, he fled from there as well. He had a paid watcher. These kind of guys, they pay people to watch out for these kind of things, and it could be people that are in law enforcement. In August of 2022, one of the many ads Wenzel put on the internet finally paid off. That ad led to a tip to the U.S. Marshals who captured Raymond McLeod in Sonsonate, El Salvador. Turns out the suspected killer had been teaching English under the name Jack Donovan. We talked to one of his students after his arrest. I remember he told me he's from Canada. Also, his name was Jack, just Jack. He never looks nervous, normal life. I never thought he was a criminal person. After her years long search, Wenzel was stunned by the news that her daughter's alleged killer was finally in custody. I just cried. I, I didn't. <sighs> I didn't know how to react. You know, I just cried tears of joy that, that it was over. That part was over. But it wasn't like a satisfaction because you have a great loss. You know, it's, it's like, okay, so, so it paid off. So we caught the rat. So, okay, you know, um, now we start the court process. <laughs> 